Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I want to share with you guys how I make money here in New World. So the things I do every day that help me make money. As we take a look at my inventory, I have about 13,000 right here. That's because all my money is stored for my own company right now. So I had to create my own company because I was way past goal cap. So hopefully with the goal of this video is to share with you guys just the things I do every day, the bio editors, the routes, just everything I do to make money helps you guys make money as well. So we'll start with the bio editors. So taking a look at the bio orders, one bio order I do every day is these Cupperstein gems. And I'll place order 10 each day on each one. And I mentioned it a few times in a couple of my videos, but the reason why I do this is because the profit margin on these are really high. If we were to take a look at Cupperstein Amethyst, for example, and if I was to place a buy order at 151, I could then turn around and sell for 324 and almost double in my profit off of each gem. And another thing I do is I look at the map and I see what's mutated for the week. So this week we have Genesis, which is Ruby. Then we have Depths, which is Void. So I'll also go for the gems that are not mutated this week. So say Cupperstein, Aquamarine, for example. And the reason why I do this is because when they're not mutated, the price of these gems are really low. So I'll, I'll buy a ton of them in bulk for the week. And I can either sell them right now and make some profit, or I could wait until when it is mutated, when it is Ice Gems and sell for when it's about 200 ish and that's when I dump them all and sell them all. That's a really good way to make money. And when I'm doing my buy orders, you always want to set it for a day. And then I do, I do 10 a day. And then for the, for the price, I usually stick between 0.50 or I'll go like one higher. I don't go too high cause you don't want to dig into your profit margins. So that's how I do it with the cup of gyms. The quick sells, if you just, if you don't want to place a buy order on each one each day, the quick sells are the onyxes, the opals, the diamonds, and I would say the amber gems. People put, use uh, nature damage on their bows and stuff in PvP. So these are all quick sells. And then that does it for the pepper scene gems. Charged sand is another good one too. It was going on my server for 100 last week. This week I think it's down to yeah 45. But this sells pretty well too and i could buy it for 10 and then turn around and sell it for 45 so anytime i could double or triple my money on something i would i buy in bulk and sell as much as i can take a look at a couple other ones these ones i've been testing out the nature like the rune glass and stuff i, I placed a buy order for free on these ones because if i if i uh was able to fill those let's see they sell for about 5k right now, and I'm buying it for 2k, so making 3k profit off those. I'm just testing those ones out right now, and then the acid tinctures actually go for a lot of money. These ones go for 178 right now, and I'm buying it for 29. So once I'm able to fill this, I'll make a ton of money off of those. Strong gemstone dust and the powerful gemstone dust go for really good money too. We were to take a look at the powerful. It's selling for 103 right now. This is pretty low. Usually I see it between 150 to 200. So I'm buying as much as I can right now. And then I'm, I'm just saving it until when the price goes up. And then that's when I'm going to sell them all. Same with the strong on my server. I don't know why it's so low this week. Because this price is usually at 20 to 30. And I could buy it for right now. 1.3 coin each so I'm, I'm buying as much as i can this week I'm just stockpiling it and then from when this price goes up then i'll sell them all so that does it for the buy orders make sure you, so anytime you get double or triple your money make sure you don't do things like i want planks and i'll show you why if you're to i don't i want planks you're not making that much profit because you're only making two coin off each plus the fee alone so it's not really worth going this route just make sure you could either double or triple your profit those are the things I go for when I look for bio orders. So for my farmers out there, the one thing I farm for is Ori Calcamigas. The reason why I do this is because no matter what, even at this price right here, which is really low this week, I'm making really good money because I'll farm between 500 to 1,000 ingots at a time. When I'm doing this, 500 times 23.34, I'm making almost 12K profit off of that, which is really good. And now's the perfect time to farm, especially with fresh start servers going on and everybody doing the brimstone content. It's not too contested when you're going for these mats, especially if you go the platinum route. I don't go the star metal route because you save time and resources not having to farm charcoal constantly. When you go the platinum route, 
you don't need charcoal at all really until you hit let's see see for silver i don't need charcoal gold i don't need charcoal platinum i don't need charcoal not until you hit about this point right here is when you need charcoal so you're saving time and resources compared to the star metal route where you need charcoal for the steel star metal and then ori and not only that if you go the platinum route and you put your mining food on or your mining luck gear on you're also getting brilliant gems and, and a chance at pristine gems that you could turn into ge uh, gemstone dust at the outfitting station and make even more money. There's some really good routes too, like um, I showed this one a couple times in my videos, but there's a really good platinum route by Reekwater. This whole ridge line right here is really good and down here as well. And I'll typically stay here for about, about an hour or so and get like 4,000 of it. And then I move on to the gold. Why I go for gold is this right here. A ton of gold in here. There's also platinum towards the end of the cave too as well. But you can get probably 4,000 gold here in less than, way less than an hour. Probably like 30, 35 minutes. And when, when I'm done with the platinum and the gold, I move on to the ori. I found a really good spot for ori right here in brimstone. Not only is there ori here, but there's lodestone, there's iron ore. The mob types drop food glyphs and ancient globs of ectoplasma that sell for pretty good money too as well. And the mob types here are level 65, I think. So if you're if you're trying to level up that great sword, this is a really great spot to do it and farm at the same time. That's what I do when I'm going out farming for profit. Also, I wanted to mention too as well for the silver ore, I don't bother going out and farming it. I usually check the price on it and if it's cheap enough, like on my server is 0.18, so check your servers. If it's cheap enough, I buy 10,000 of it. And this will set me up for the week. So it's also another resources I'm saving time on, not having to worry about. It's up to you though, if you want to go out and farm it or not. But for me, I just buy the silver ore. So for those of you that have your weapon smithing level up to 180, there's a good great sword you can craft called Dismemberment. They sell for 11.5 right now. I'll sell it a ton when it first launched for like 20, 30k. But the third perk you get on this is Keen. So it's a really good great sword to have. And they sell pretty quick too. Like if you were to post this in chat, you probably sell it pretty quick. I sold like 20 or 30 of them. I just wanted to throw that out there for you guys. So I end each day with a scarab run, and I typically do only the sulfur mine ones because they give you a higher percent chance of getting a scarab. You get a 7% chance when you do these chests compared to the late zones, which is only a 2% chance. Also, you can do it solo, and it only takes about 20 minutes to do. I did a video going over it of all the chest locations and the sulfur mines. If you guys want to check that out, a link will be in the description. But I start here in the lower left, which has three chest locations. Then I wake, make my way north, three more in this location, one here, just a complete circle around, four in this location, and then I end the route over here, which has seven chest locations. And I typically get between one to two scarabs when I'm doing this, which sell for about five to six K on my server. So really good money to be made here each day. I highly recommend you guys do this as well. So that's everything I do in a day to make money here in New World. Hope this video guys helps you guys out and you will make money as well. If it did, please comment down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Have a great day.